goss, the dirt, the trash. It's all in Amy's update. Amy and Sean, 1027 VGS. So JoJo Siwa just posted a picture of her. She's got a new tattoo. I'm not sure if she has any other tattoos. I got to be honest. Um, I it's Jaden was too young when she was like doing the YouTube thing. I feel like, or maybe my kids missed it somehow. No, I'm not a yeah. Thank God. I was not in the Thank JoJo God. Siwa. No. Time, yeah. And uh, parents, though, genius. I always re- remember watching, and I'm like, look at that. They're just, she was like one of the first YouTube kids uh, to start making uh, a ton of money. And then she went on Nickelodeon, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now she just, uh, I guess, just does music. I'm not sure. I think she's a little much for me. The new song uh, that was trending on TikTok for far too long. I was over it. Anyways, she posted a picture of her and she's got a tattoo and it's a teddy bear with wings. It almost looks like wearing like uh, military gear-ish hmm. with like a night mask on. So hmm. people are thinking might be a new album cover or maybe it's fake and this is just for a new album I don't know. A lot of people are talking about her. She's always trending on TikTok. I don't know why I get so annoyed with her. I think she's just a little much for me. Yeah, I, I, she's not bothering me. I don't know. I'm not on TikTok, though. So, you know. Yeah. The, 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 trendy, the trendy songs, the ones with the, you know, that one annoying thing that's constantly the trend, I just don't see. I find I live a good life without TikTok. I'm going to keep it that way. Yeah, honest. Maybe I'd be <laughs> less annoyed. That's you gotta for get, sure. You got to get into cooking TikTok. Stay there. <laughs> And yeah, there's, there's no JoJo Siwa. <laughs> For sure. Hey, I always say that I would never like buy anything that is for auction from like a celebrity or uh, somebody that's passed, somebody that's alive. Even if it was Beyonce's dress or Beyonce's, um, you know, something she wore in, in a, yeah. a, a video. I just not my thing. But this one I might be able to get behind. Elvis. Oh, his the Elvis. blue suede shoes. The actual shoes. Yes. Oh, that's great. I think that's awesome. Up for auction, 125000 it starts. And I think that's a little oh, that's low. That's going to be really low. I think that's a little low. That's going to be honestly, million plus. It has to be, Elvis's right? blue suede shoes, the actual ones that he wore, I think that's pretty damn cool. If they don't sell for over a million. I mean, these are the blue suede shoes. They are shoes. the blue suede shoes. <laughs> so if these don't sell for over a million... I think it's official. Elvis is done. Yeah. Like Viva yeah, Elvis yeah, yeah. didn't work. That was kind of like half done at that point. So yes. if, if if these don't sell for a million, we're done. I know. You know it's, I yeah. know. Because when I saw it, I was like, huh. I mean, maybe but no, I don't have money, but, um, but that, that is one I thing. Can sell that the I house, can sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And lastly, I never, ever, ever thought that, that this was a thing, to be honest, and I don't know why it makes sense now, but Drew Carey says that it's very common for Price is Right contestants to use liquid courage or other things before they go up on stage. Really? He said. He said, yeah, some people take gummies. Some people, you can smell the alcohol on their breath. He said that one, somebody that he remembers uh, was definitely like on on mushrooms or something. And when he asked what he did, he said he was a skateboarder or something like, but it makes sense now because people get nervous and have a a shot or something before you go up there. I think now I'm like, oh, of course they do. And now I look at them all a little bit different. Honest to God, do you, I mean, do you remember the Bob Barker Barker Mm -hmm. era, but not the like recent But, like, I'm talking, like, back, like, late 80s, early 90s when we were having the sick days. Yeah. And we would watch, and they were all in curlers. And there was an occasional, like, well-behaved college student. Yeah. And now it's a mosh pit. It is crazy. It's bananas. It is, And they're, like, any elderly people are, like, well, I... I can't I know. I know. It's nuts. It is a little mix of uh, what what comes on right after that with... Oh, let's make a deal. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's getting a little... It's a little crazy, crazy like that. Yeah, but it's, it's I'm fun. Here for it. And you know what? I didn't like Drew Carey initially. I was angry at it. I was like, oh, God, another slug. You know, I wanted, of course, because I wanted, because I'm a double deer guy, I wanted Mark Summers, because I think Mark Summers looked old enough for the oldies and then was like beloved by the youngies. Uh-huh. Uh, but he he's done a great job. Yeah. yeah I agree. And, he, and he said he will, wants to die on stage. So yeah. He will be whole, and he, and he said that Bob Barker made a massive mistake by retiring. retiring. Uh, yeah, because obviously it's a great gig, man. He, so. rapid rapid aging with Bob Barker once he uh, once he uh, let yeah. go the microphone. Yeah. So imagine like if Biden doesn't stay president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Lordy. <laughs> 